Vice President Harris's visit to Michigan today was focused on the auto industry. The VP announcing that the Biden administration will give $100 million to small and medium sized auto manufacturers. 50 million will go towards helping auto suppliers convert to manufacturing parts for the EV supply chain. 7 News Detroit reporter Sarah Michaels shows us exactly how those funds will be used and how Republicans are reacting. We now know that the Biden administration is giving $100 million to the auto industry in efforts to go electric. But how will that money be used specifically? Today, at this tour stop, we were able to ask. The President of the United States is bringing manufacturing back to the United States. But exactly how? Monday at Vice President Kamala Harris's Economic Opportunity for All Detroit stop. <laughs> and United States Secretary of State Jennifer Granholm announced that the Biden administration is giving $100 million to small and medium-sized auto part manufacturers in efforts to convert to electric vehicles. These grants will allow businesses to upgrade production and production lines to produce parts for electric vehicles. The money that's being invested for the auto suppliers and manufacturers, do we know specifically how all of that money is going to be dispersed? Yeah, that will be a competitive process. There'll be $50 million for that component. Through further research, we were able to learn that that $50 million is going to the Energy Department's Automotive Conversion Grant Program to convert manufacturing parts for internal combustion engine vehicles to parts for electric vehicles. The other $50 million will go to the Industrial Assessment Center. All of this comes as top automakers like Ford are attributing massive profit losses to the pressure of moving to EVs too quickly. We didn't meet any Republicans at the vice president's tour stop, but we did want to include that viewpoint as well. Republican Congressman John James issued this statement on the $100 million being given, saying in part that Stellantis and General Motors were forced to pay $363 million in fines for failing to meet unrealistic NHTSA CAFE requirements, and that Joe Biden helped create this problem. Still, local business owners like Vicki Lewis and Arena Payne Harry, who were at the tour stop, told us that they are inspired by the vice president's announcement and feel heard in how the Biden administration is distributing funding like this. I like the funding that's coming for the training for workers because we're moving to electrification. And now that they have funds that's going to be available to train existing workers, they don't have to have the fear of losing their jobs because of the changes that's being made. Reporting in Midtown, Sarah Michaels, 7 News, Detroit.